Today we will use Python to solve Wordle automatically. In the previous video, we used elimination to display all of the remaining valid Wordle guesses. Today, we will create a program that automatically enters the best possible remaining word into the Wordle website until we get the correct answer. So let's get started. Since this code is quite long, I'm not going to type every line of it, I'm just going to walk you through it and all this code is posted on GitHub and the links below. So my main file is called playwordle.py and the first thing I do is import the valid Wordle guesses which is about 13,000 and the valid Wordle answers which is approximately 2300 from the words file. So if we look over here at the words file, loads the two files and returns the words as a list. So now going back to the program, import several things such as Selenium Web Driver Manager and Keyboard because we need these in order to automatically to automatically go to the Wordle website and run the program. Scrolling down to the bottom of the file. The main function is called main and it's in an if code here if name equals main because this tells us that we'll only run this if it's a script which is is so the main function the start button is escape we'll talk about this later but in order to start the wordle solver we'll press escape then it will run and the browser is chrome and here's the website for wordle and we'll wait until we hit the start button. So it's gonna go to the Wordle website, then it's gonna wait for us to press the escape key. And then this function called game app, it's gonna get all the elements by CSS. So what this does is it's sort of like inspecting the element to see if what you entered is in the right location, incorrect location, or if the letter's not in the word at all. Then it's gonna execute the script, which gets all the elements, and finally the rows by tag name, and finally we go into our large function, which is the play function. And we'll pass in Wordle guesses and Wordle answers that we imported. So a large function is called play, and all the words all, all the possible guesses it ex will accept and the narrow down list is all the possible answers. The word count will be less than 20,000 words. The first guess, unlike any other, can be any word. So we'll do a rise every time. So it will enter that. So we'll just say which to consider equals a rise. So it's going to enter that. And then the second time around, it's going to use that information. So here's where we use the information from the previous guesses. So earlier we said that the minimum word count was 20,000 at the beginning. So what it's doing here is narrowing down the list to all the words remaining and it's looking for the best possible word to guess via the minimum word count. And it's using a table to see which of the remaining words have a lot of overlap. For example, if the remaining words have a lot of M's, it's probably going to choose a word that has an M in it. Then it's going to enter that guess. And let's jump down to that enter guess function. So it's just going to write every letter in and then press enter. And then it's going to evaluate the word. And here's where the CSS comes in that we talked about earlier. If the letter is green in the correct position, it will return two. If it's present in the word, that's the term they use. So we'll use the same term here. It's one. And if it's absent, it's zero. And we get correct, present, and absent from the CSS on the website every time we enter a word. And we have to do time.sleep after every word to make 
show that the website has enough time to enter the information and so that we can pull the new information of what letters are in the right location back down from the website. What we want to get is the correct answer. So if answer evaluation is equal to 22222, two, 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 so we just said that the 2 means correct position, so th this means that everything's in the correct position, it is the correct word. And that means we have finished the game. Now let's run this program to see if it works. And in order to do this, I'm going to go down into the terminal here, and I have to use sudo because I'm opening a website automatically and I'm typing into the keyboard using Python. Then I'll follow that with the Python version, then the name of the file, and I'll hit enter and I'll enter my password. Now it's going to open Wordle automatically, and I'll just X out of this box, and when I hit the escape key, it will start running. And as you see, it enters arise because that's the first word followed by cloud, and then it guesses the correct answer on the third time, dodge. And that's how to create an automatic Wordle solver in Python. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.